Hi everyone, it's Catherine. Happy Halloween. It's my one of my favourite days of the year, I have to say. I love Halloween and I am here. I can't get it in shot, but I am drinking my usual wine. I'll put it in the description box down below. I'm up close and personal because, as you've probably guessed, I am going to try stamping again. Oh, I'm a little bit nervous, but I'm going to try it. I haven't had as much uh, alcohol uh, to drink as I did the last time. So whether that'll be a hindrance or a help, I don't know. But I'm going to do try and do a Halloween themed manicure. I am wearing on my nails this beautiful dark uh, green. Well, I say it's dark green, but it looks black. And it's got this kind of green blue shimmer in it, kind of green teal shimmer in it, to be truthful. And it is called Smoke and Ashes, and it's from China Glaze. And I really, really love this. This is just one coat on the nails, so you can see how opaque it is. I thought it'd be perfect for stamping. And on my accent nail, only on one hand, because I bloody forgot about it when I was doing this hand, is this. It's also one coat, actually, and it's this textured polish from Zoya. It's a pixie dust, and it is called Cheetah. There you go. Really, really pretty. So I have an idea in mind. I want to stamp some cobwebs on and maybe some pumpkins. So I have all the accoutrement ready to go, including this guy. This guy kind of looks a bit creepy for Halloween. This is the claw that um, Margaret sent me. Thanks a million, Margaret. And I have little cotton buds that she sent me as well. So I'll be able to clean my stamping plates properly. So yeah, really looking forward to that. So I am going to be using uh, this orange from Sinful Colours. Um, I already tested it out and it worked fine. This is called Sugar Pumpkin. I'll put the name up on screen for you. And I'm going to maybe do a witch if I get really, really confident with this bright green. And this is called Ness. So it's really Halloween-y already. And I couldn't find any white. I thought I had a stamping white around. I'm going to chance doing the cobwebs with this. I don't know if it's going to work or not. But this is just um, the white polish from the gel line, the essence line. This is Wild White Ways. Yeah. So... Let's take some wine, very important for stamping. Ooh, yes, I love it. Okay, I'm nervous, but we're gonna do this. We're gonna do this, we're gonna do this. I know we are. I believe in me, I believe in me. Sorry, I'm peeling off my lint roller. So that's ready to go. All right, lint roller, stamping plates, stamping polish, corrector, claw cotton bud thing, scraper thing, don't go too hard, and stamper. All right, let's do this. Okay, so I'm going to start out with this plate right here. If I can lift the blue thing up. And then, there we go, this plate right here. I have some cobwebs here that I want to use. And I also have this, Mo this is a Moira stamping plate. This is actually, I think I sent this one to Claire. Yeah, it was. This is Labyrinth, plate number seven. Um, I'll try not to blind you. And this is, there I am, hi. This is, what is this? What is this plate? Huh, I don't know what this plate is. I love nail art, maybe. I don't know, SB037. I can't even remember where, they, where I got this. But anyway, we'll see how it goes. I'm going to use this, uh, let's go with this cobweb first, right here. I'm going to try and not blind you. So, let's try this out. Right, it does it. Roll. Yeah, baby. We got it, we got it. So, let's see. Oh, damn it, I mix, I messed it up right at the end. But actually, if I clean this off, yeah, I think that works with this, just the tip exposed. It's, I'm at a really awkward angle, so that's a problem as well. I know that, I know I'm using that as an excuse, but yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna lint off this bit. I'm taking all of your tips from um, the last disaster stamping video. But you know what? It's not too bad. I could even probably go back over it if I wanted to. Okay, and we're going to try this one right here. I'm going to go for the white again. I think this one will look good on the thumb. So 
There we go. Yeah, that looks really good. Actually, that white is really good for stamping. So, so cool. I like that a lot. Yeah, it would be cool if I had a spider, but I don't think I do. I was thinking, you know, oh, sugar bubbles. That's the name of this. I just saw it there. Um, Maybe. <laughs> um, But yeah, it'd be cool if I could do something on top. Maybe the witch or something. They do have a Bette Midler here. I do like Hocus Pocus and stuff. More wine. This is so much more successful than the gin run. So I'm blaming the gin from the last time. Let's clean this up. Let's try, oh, let's try the ghosts. That's what we'll try. Try the ghosts up here. And uh, I should be talking to you while I'm doing this, but I'm very concentrated. I wanna get it right this time. Okay, I think a hair got in there, unfortunately. No, oh, that looks pretty good. Um, oh no, there is a hair. Oops, okay, we got it out. Ooh, that looks really cool. I like it, very nice. I'll do the clean up later on, but yeah. That looks very cool indeed. I'm so excited that's working. Thank you so much guys for all of your help with this. So good. I love Halloween. Obviously I'm recording this before Halloween because I've got so much coming up around Halloween. I'm gonna try some pumpkins over the textured polish. Now I did put a layer of top coat over the textured polish so I'm hoping that will work. Mm, it's just it's not quite it, the texture polish is just eating it I can see it but I don't know if you guys can maybe when I top coat it it'll be a bit better but so far not great let's do let's do the witch I've never done, I don't think I have done a, um, a full thing like this before, but let's see if it works. I didn't quite get her hat. That's the only problem with it. But it's not too bad. Yeah, the pumpkin is a bit disappointing. Maybe I will try, go back and try uh, something white over that. This is going to be either a really nice video or a really boring video. <laughs> okay, I have some bats, so let's try them over our pumpkins. Yeah, the white is much better over the textured polish. So now I've got pumpkins and bats there. Guys, I'm really, really pleased with this so far. I'm afraid to ruin it and add something to it, but I'm kind of tempted to add some um, some more something to my web. He's super cute, this little guy. He's so cute. I love Halloween, guys. I'm just slightly obsessed. Ah. Look at him. I didn't quite pick him up as well as I wanted to, but I think I'll put him this way around. Hmm, that did not really work. I think it's the polish. Hmm, let's see if we can get that off pretty quickly. Okay guys, so I've d I tried to get as much off as possible, so I'm gonna try the webs again, just so that I can have a nice even mani. I just lightly took it off um, 
with some acetone on top because I did top coat the polish so it didn't remove any polish so I think I'm okay for now. So I'll just do this and I'll do this. So there we go. And that's not too bad. Phew! It looks a lot better. Okay guys, so I'm going to clean up and I will show you the end result. Okay guys, so I'm going to clean up and um, finish my wine and then I will put up a swatch picture of the whole thing finished. I just realised that I did my ghost upside down so it doesn't really make much sense, but... That's okay. I'll try and photograph it anyway. Uh, thanks a million for joining me, and thank you so much to all of for all of your tips, and um, to all of you for all of your tips. Special thanks to Margaret for the wonderful claw. Cheers to you all. Oops, I'm wrecking the place. Cheers to you all for Halloween. I hope you have a great one, and I'll talk to you all again soon. Take care. Bye.